This is a motor that should change how we view electric bike motors. Well, this is the TQ, but you can't even see it. Look, where is it? This is the TQ. HPR 50. It's got a 360 watt hour battery in the down tube. There it is, there's the motor. Barely three, four inches across, right? Here's a phone. And if you see, it's about the width of a telephone. A tiny motor. In fact, you can't even really see it. It's allowed the frame designers here on this bike to make a motor that fits perfectly in a frame and allows them to do what they want with the geometry. Let's get up here. This is hard enough on a full power bike. Actually, it's easier on this bike because it's lighter. So let's give you some specs. It's got 250 watts, uh, 16 newton meters. It weighs 4.08 pounds. Uh, the battery weighs 4.03 pounds. It comes with a range extender. It's also got a two inch display, which has got Ant Plus, so you can connect it to telephones, etc. And very interesting remote, very small, quite robust. Uh, and now we're gonna see how noisy it is. You can hear it, this is my voice, this is the microphone. And then this is my ear level. And you can hear how the motor is. So it's slightly downhill at this point. Basically completely silent with a freewheel hub. Right, let's ride back towards the camera and I'm gonna hold the microphone near the motor so you can hear it. Right, as you can hear there, that's about as much <laughs> noise as you can hear out of it, really nothing. At ear level, you hear nothing. You've gotta get your ear right the way down close to hear anything. This is definitely the quietest central motor on the market. It's got what they call a pin, pinion ring. So it's basically got two uh, sprockets, one that rotates inside another, and that gives you your gearing ratio. So the torque of this motor, is, so when it's off, the feeling is pretty much like a normal trail bike. If you put it in trail mode one, you can immediately feel a very gentle push. If you put it into the second power mode, there you start to feel a little bit more assistance. The motor pushes a bit, but not too much. It's a motor that actually works at about a cadence of around 75 to 85 RPM. The second mode is actually the mode that I use or have used the majority of the time when riding around on this bike, the third power mode. Now this is the most powerful mode. That means it's pushing out 60 Newton meters at peak torque. And I would say the torque band on it is not that wide, but it's wide enough to be supportive where you need it. So especially if you're going up a steep incline and there's a little rock and you want to pop over it, this motor does allow you to just go boop, boop and push over it. And let's say it's top power mode is comparable to say the medium power mode on a Shimano EP8 system. So it's definitely powerful enough for a fit rider because this is a lightweight system. The whole weight of the system is half that of a normal electric bike system. What is the reality of this battery that we've got in this down tube? It's quite small. It is a TQ battery, a 360 watt hour battery. Clearly the autonomy is almost on par with a 500 or a 600 watt hour battery, depending on the rider fitness. On the steep hills, it's not a shuttle uh, system. It's not for shuttling up and just booming down and just doing loops. It's more of a motor, which is gonna sort of help you have that trail bike experience with a little bit more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like and write a comment. And we'll see you soon on the next video.